Hey everyone, how's it going today? Um, so, real quick, let's get right into this. Um, current Sino plans, because I've been giving a lot of comments about this. Um, okay, so... <coughs> okay, so I do have a basic Thundering Fury set going so far. I'm missing... Uh, I want to get a crit damage one of these, and an EM one of these. But I do have this going. A lot of people are saying that the new uh, Gilded Dream set might be better for him. I've started working on this. This isn't really anything too important yet. Um, just all these pieces are pretty mid so far. <coughs> I know I did get a crit damage one of these, but these substats kind of suck. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I'll, I'll kind of just farm this one passively as time goes on and then any leftovers I'll throw in the strong box get one of these uh, have both kids ready just to test out kind of mess around with him when he first releases see which kid I like more or which artifacts that I like using more just depends on my team which one does more damage um, yeah we don't know anything for sure yet until official release because the beta numbers can change a lot um, yeah we'll be trying to get some better artifacts of these as time goes but honestly my um, wrong button. But honestly, my <laughs> advice right now is, which is what I'm doing, is I'll be farming this right here. The Electro Edge is fine. And well, I haven't got all these things unlocked yet, but um, <coughs> also has talent books, which we're not entirely sure. I think it's probably going to be one of the ones in here. I don't know what else his weapon needs. I'll probably go get these. Uh, I don't know, I'll probably go unlock one of these things later. Yeah, and I'll probably one like this later. <coughs> I'll go through and unlock some of these waypoints. But yeah, I don't know, for now I'm just going to farm these, see what happens. And then anything else that comes out until then, I'll kind of just try to passively farm maybe some talent books that I think you might need. Or um, the set here for Gilded Dreams. Just I don't really have any Dendro characters that I'm using right now, or yet, that need this, but I'll kind of farm this, keep any good pieces as we go for uh, Sino reactions, because apparently Electro and Dendro is making <laughs> Electro much more viable. Um, <coughs> but yeah, so currently, let's just go farm that real quick while I'm talking. But those are my current Sino plans. Um, Yeah, excuse the throat clearing, still getting over COVID, but shouldn't be a problem. And honestly, I don't really know the new mechanics for this boss. I fought it a couple times, but... Okay. No, it's just, just like testing out Deluke on it, because... I don't know, the boss doesn't seem too hard, it's just messing around with some of the characters. <laughs> No, I'm messing up the vaporize there, but that's fine. There you go. Still pretty quick. Okay, yeah, I can just farm that once. Um, I don't. No, I think I needed an EM off piece. I might mess with that later. Okay, so I've got 13 of these. Um, nothing's been officially released, but come on, it's been a new Electro boss released, and he's going to be Electro, so like, I'm like pretty sure that he's going to need these. So, and I'll just farm those a bit, and if not, I'm sure there'll be another character that can use them. And, <coughs> excuse me. Um, yeah, and about the Thundering Fury set about the farming... Uh, yeah, let's take a look. So yeah, say that Sino actually can't use these. I still have, I don't know, I might throw one like this, uh, this piece on him, because this one is pretty solid. Um, <laughs> yeah, I need to get EM of that. This is a pretty solid piece, I'd say. This one's a very good piece, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, these Thundering Fury pieces have gone pretty well. So, worst case scenario, I'll probably go back and... I actually might consider messing. Oh, I'm just using her to hold these dendro pieces right now uh, for someone in the future. But I don't know. Um, I actually might build her 
never really cared much about her kit, but apparently it's, I always thought she looked like fun to play, but I didn't really think she was worth the resources. But I know a lot of characters have gotten buffs with EM, like um, Toka Ching's doing better with the EM buffs, uh, yeah, Miko's doing better, <coughs> pretty much any Electro character. I think Beta's doing better, Fischl's doing pretty well. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if right now, I mean I'm sure it does some damage increase, but I don't think it's, she's that much more insane. She was already pretty good beforehand. But um, yeah, no, I might go through and build her a bit more. I just have some random pieces I've thrown on her. Uh, 56, 160, I hadn't really invested into her, but anything left over. I might go back and invest into Yamiko or Kaching with the extra Thundering Fury pieces if I'm not using, <coughs> excuse me, if I'm not using them for Sino. But, um, yeah, no, I think all the Dendro reactions are pretty cool. I haven't, I don't really know too much about the Dendro reactions, but let's see. Um, where are they? Oh, they're right. I've messed around with this team a bit just for the application. He's not really leveled up, but it's a pretty solid team. Um, it is pretty nice that this Geo doesn't interact too much with the other characters. Um, I've also heard a lot of talk about Sino current teams. Uh, I made this earlier before I was planning on using Kale, but everyone's saying that the Dendro MC is just a lot better with reactions and everything. So I, don't know, I might get him up to 70. Um, Potoma here. <coughs> so yeah, I think this would be a pretty good team. Other teammates that I think might go, that would probably go well with Sino. I mean, nothing's official yet, but, um, a lot of people talk about Kazuha here, but I'm not entirely sure how well that would work because his burst duration is fairly short. And so it just depends on if Sino can snapshot the EM buffs and everything. Because if Sino can snapshot EM buffs, then like C2 Kazuha would probably be buffing a lot which would be a great app option in my opinion um i've heard that fischl is going to be pretty good with him in general so that's why i have her there because she's a great battery she is the electric uh really good electro application so she's like she's probably going to stay here i might switch her out with shinobu because shinobu is pretty good uh a pretty good healer in my opinion because it's not it's like fairly consistent and it's healing with their e which i really like and i didn't really care for building chi chi so <laughs> Uh, I do like this as a support. Um, let's see who else. Yunjin. I mean, Yunjin's not probably not going to be meta or anything. But if his if his ult has anything with normal attacks, then I feel like Yunjin right here might be pretty good. Like pretty fun to just mess around with, especially because mine's C six, so it also has the the attack speed increase. Uh, Sucrose maybe she has really short skills as well though. So it's same thing with Kazuha. If, if she can. Uh, if Sino ends up snapshotting EM in his burst, then one of these two would probably be pretty good. Um, I know, it depends on the team you're doing. If you want to do like a taser team or whatever, I'm, I mean, Ching is good in most teams. Uh, I don't know how much you'll scale with attack. If You probably just throw Bennett on your other team because it's probably more useful there. Um, another one I want to talk about, Diona, because my Diona is currently at C6. Um, here, let me show you real quick. Actually, I'll show you Yunjin first, then Diana. Uh, okay, so I'm, I mean, Diana, uh, not Diana. Yunjin at C zero is probably still helpful, but C six attack speed by twelve percent. That that'd probably be pretty nice on him, to be honest. And Diana C six right here. Um, elemental mastery increased by two hundred when HP is about fifty percent. So I don't know. I'll probably invest more into her in a bit. Um, I'm not that fully <laughs> invested on mine, but I might go and try to get a better artifact set to put on here. Level up some more of these a bit, but I know, same thing. Um, same problem. I mean, the duration of this is 12 seconds, where the other ones are kind of short, where it's like, okay, um, where his is only 8, and then let's check Sucrose real quick. Uh, Duration six seconds. Yeah, they all kind of have short up times. Diana's is the longest, and she also gives um, she also gives this extra 200 EM at C6. She shields, she heals. I feel like that might be a good addition to the team, especially if you don't have someone like Zhongli there. Because here, let's go. <coughs> 
So yeah, kind of just mix and match anybody from those teams. Um, I mean, you could use Kale here as well, I'm sure, but you know, there might also be a better Dendro applicator. But for now, this is probably the best bet that you've got. So Sino, Dendro MC, uh, Fischl or Shinobu or different type like that. And then some type of survivability here with like um, Zhongli, like I said, Shinobu. Maybe another Animo Shred if he does Snapshot EM burst from C2 Kazuha or Sucrose. Uh, C6 Diana. Mostly things like that. Uh, so that's kind of my plan for the team right now, but we don't know anything until his official numbers are leaked. Or not leaked, until his official numbers are released, because I'm sure they're leaked in the beta, but there's nothing. Uh, nothing's really official yet. Yeah, it's kind of just a video of me coming to talk and about where I am with Sino currently. Uh, let's see if I have any leftover artifacts to do a Thundering Fury piece. I don't know, I'm not too worried about either of the sets. The worst case scenario, I'll just go with... Let's see. Oh, let's see. I've. Oh, my first EM sets. <laughs> Perfect. Okay then, uh, that was pretty cool. Um, Alright, well let's see if we can actually finish this set right now. Because I farmed that set many, I farmed that set a lot earlier, and I didn't get a single EM sands. Okay, well, we're gonna put this one on anyways, just because this one is not very good. Okay, so we want crit rate or crit damage. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, that's how that goes. I'll level it up more later if it's anything important. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's whatever. Um, but yeah, I've heard a lot of people say that this one's just outright going to be better, but I don't know, don't go throwing away these pieces yet or anything, because your Thundering Fury pieces still might be good, um, and even if it's, like, okay, so, the Guild of Dream set, it does give an increase of attack and elemental mastery, and, yeah, honestly, that's a great buff and everything, but you can get that a lot of other places, especially if you snapshots, like, so, let's see right here, um, Okay, Aggravate is increased by 20% when Quicken. <coughs> so yeah, like, you get these extra damage buffs on reactions, and a damage buff is pretty substantial. And I mean, they like, also the skill cooldown thing is decreased by one second, which might make them more fun to play, even if it's lower damage. So, I don't know, because honestly, I've heard strong opinions about both sides of these artifacts. I'd kind of prefer him to use Thundering Fury just because I have a better set for it, but if he uses this, I'll just farm this one a bit harder, no worries. It's not the end of the world or anything, but um, yeah, I mean, this is a pretty, I have it fairly decent. This is 59-120, no weapon, no ascension stat, and then these two artifacts kind of suck. So he's doing pretty well so far with this set, um, but yeah, once again, not the end of the world if I farm this one as well. I've kind of been doing this a little bit. Uh, we'll work more on it. I don't really think I have any of these pieces that good. Uh, I mean, like, okay, worst case scenario, he comes out right away, I can... No, yeah, that one sucks too. Okay, um, I don't know, I can get by with that for a little bit. So, yeah, and attack sands. I just leveled it up to see if it would go more into crit or EM. But, yeah, definitely gonna replace that. Well, I definitely wanna replace that. And probably gonna replace this but like it's not the end of the world if not because mostly it's just the main stat I was looking for um, but yeah I don't really have any like pretty <laughs> I don't have any decent pieces there yet but I don't I think I have pretty good thundering fury pieces we'll farm this anything extra we'll just throw into the strong box hopefully get a better EM sense here or a crit damage one a lot of crit right here hopefully I just need one of those pieces and, <coughs> and then the rest then I could just throw an off piece on Maybe like an EM sends like this one. Could let him borrow this one from Deluke for a bit just to test with or hopefully get a better one. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good about his release. I So, let me rephrase this in case any of you missed it real quick. Oh, wrong spot. I recommend farming this now until you get 46 of these because every character needs 46 in total of the... Uh, main boss drops, weekly boss drops, um, I don't think there's going to be a new weekly boss anytime soon, so I'm pretty sure. You can just farm the Raiden boss, and uh, um, I had a dream, 
I had a dream that he uses these ones. But we'll have to wait and see until everything's officially released. That's what I believe right now. Not that I look at leaks, wink, wink. But, um, yeah, no. So <coughs> just start off farming that. And then you can find leaks on what is artifacts that's going to have, or what is talents or books are going to need. Farm some more. Uh, farm. Uh, make sure that you have enough of the level up books. I've kind of been farming those passively. This is where I'm at right now. Um, just, I, I didn't really have any of these because I just leveled him up to 90. But um, I've just been getting these from like the events and stuff. So kind of just play through the storyline, do the quest, get these. Other than that, pretty well. Um, make sure you have enough more, make sure you have enough of that. Um, get any weapon you have prepared for him. I don't If you're going to pull for his weapon, just make sure you have enough of the, the enhancement ores, any of these things. I've been farming these recently. Um, whatever weapon you choose to use for him. Or just wait for the new weapons to come out, but just make sure you have the materials you need. Those are the main things. I say focus on those first, and then you can kind of worry about the artifacts. But... Yeah, so, if you have any Thundering Fury set, kind of just set it aside for now. Do these, any bad pieces you get, throw them into the strong box. And hopefully that, hopefully I'll get a better set of Gilded Dreams soon. But, yeah, everything's going pretty well, so. Last recap before I head out. So, first, remember we want to farm this most likely. Then you can find his talent books. Talent books, uh, weapon enhancement ores, or any weapon you're going to use. <coughs> uh, and then focus on artifacts at the end, but once you get all the main base things down, then go ahead and farm for that. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely be covering some more Sino content before his release, and I'll be... I might do a pulling video, I'm not sure. We'll see, but I'm going to go for his... I'm going to go for him, his weapon, and then any leftover primos I'll just throw into. Um, Sino Constellations. Um, so let me know what you guys want to see, if anything about that of Sino, if you have any questions. Uh, be sure to let me know any questions, comments, concerns, and thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope that you guys all enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks. See ya.